Okay, everybody. Uh, my name is Joe Hernandez. I wanted to uh, thank you all for attending and um, uh, attending the uh, this webinar. Um, good morning to everybody. Um, <clears throat> my name is Joe Hernandez. I'm with with Blue IP. Uh, I'm going to uh, kick this off and and get going here. Essentially, um, we've got a good amount of people that are actually on now, and uh, there will likely be other individuals that chime in. What we'll do is I'm going to go through the uh, the presentation. Um, everybody's muted right now. Um, if you have a question, go ahead and and drop it into the um, into the chat box. Um, and we'll uh, we'll do our best to address it. Um, at the end of the presentation, what I'll do is um, I'll open it up, open up the line, and we could have a Q&A and, and discussion. Um, <clears throat> so uh, again, thank you everybody for joining. Um, my name is Joe Hernandez. I'm with Blue IP. Um, <clears throat> I've uh, I've been here at Blue IP since the inception of the company, so it's a very exciting time for us. Um, we are a rapidly growing company, and um, we're excited to talk to you a little bit about uh, about Broadsoft. Um, the topic of discussion today is um, we're going to help you learn how uh, Broadsoft can help you grow your business. Um, so whether you're a Google Apps reseller, whether you're a uh, a Microsoft reseller, uh, an Avaya reseller a short tail reseller or, or what have you. Um, Broadsoft is a very, very strong company. They've got a very, very strong product and application suite um, that you could use to go to market with. Um, <clears throat> So we're going to go ahead and get started. In order to talk to you a little bit about and and tell you what um, Broadsoft can do for you, it's important for you to understand a little bit about the company. Um, <clears throat> some of you may already know everything there is to know about Broadsoft as a company, and for some of you this may be your first introduction to Broadsoft and what they do. Um, essentially, Broadsoft is a manufacturer of um, a carrier-based soft switch. So um, when you're offering a hosted PBX product offering, um, there is a soft switch at the back end, whether that's a Broadsoft switch, um, whether it is um, a meta switch, um, an asterisk-based switch, um, some homegrown switch, um, or what have you. You always have a carrier-based switch or a soft switch um, that the phones are actually registering to and that you've got um, trunking run to. Um, <clears throat> Broadsoft has been in this space for a very long time. Um, they are the largest soft switch manufacturer uh, in the world. Um, and uh, they've got the most intelligent application. Um, <clears throat> Broadsoft is, uh, they, they had their IPO back in 2010. Um, they are listed on NASDAQ. They are uh, under the um, uh, BSFT, so you can go ahead and look them up. Um, there's some recent news about Broadsoft. Uh, they just made um, another acquisition out in Germany. Um, it was a nine million dollar cash acquisition um, out in Germany, and for all of you guys that didn't know this, Germany is the largest economy in Europe. So um, Broadsoft continues to make their way through um, through the world um, as far as um, offering unified communications uh, and uh, in applications to the cloud-based market, um, which is very very large and very aggressive. Um, <clears throat> They've got uh, 500 customers um, uh, in 68 countries. Um, they are solely focused on software and cloud services um, in the carrier space. Uh, they've got uh, over 700 employees in 21 countries, um, over 300 individuals in, um, in R&D. Um, Broadsoft, um, Broadsoft's platform that they manufacture is called Broadworks. So you'll hear me using both the term Broadsoft and Broadworks somewhat interchangeably, so I'd like to clear that up um, out of the get-go. Um, the Broadworks platform consists of several different boxes or several different um, servers. Um, there's media servers, there's application servers, there's database servers, there's voicemail servers, and, um, and others. Um, <clears throat> In addition to their series of servers, there's all, there is a, uh, an application server um, called the Extended Platform. The Extended Platform, what the Extended Platform actually does is it publishes all of the APIs for the soft switch um, so that carriers, um, application developers um, can engineer integration and customization 
um, with the BroadWorks platform, um, essentially uh, extending the application um, for advanced applications uh, with Salesforce, with other uh, cloud-based technologies that have open APIs as well. So <clears throat> um, the ecosystem of, uh, of technology partners consists of companies like Microsoft, like Google, like Cisco, like Salesforce, um, and several others. Um, there's a ton of them. There's a whole section, uh, a whole website um, geared for that. Um, so the ecosystem continuously grows, um, and what Broadsoft has done with their extended platform is um, <clears throat> back in the early 2000s, you had your IP PBXs with, um, and we also call them um, soft switches, um, and software-based phone systems. When you had your software-based phone systems, what they did differently from the key systems and traditional PBXs that were out in the market from like Avaya and Mitel and, and, and Panasonic, the software-based phone systems actually exposed a series of APIs, and that enabled for customization within a company to do screen pops, to do integrations with a, a back-end CRM application, to do click-to-dial stuff, um, exchanging information between the phone system and another application within that office. And that was, um, it, was uh, it, it was a very... Um, um, a very feature rich application it was uh, it, it opened up the capabilities of the phone system which prior to that were, were very closed if you will um, and it enabled uh, companies to roll out applications and solutions um, that integrated with their phone system when everything moved to the cloud or to hosted PBXs uh, that kind of stopped because it was really hard to uh, program against a hosted phone system that nobody really had access to. That's what Broadsoft has done. They have ex uh, opened up those APIs and with the advent of everything moving out to the cloud, which everything is out in the cloud now, um, it's very easy to integrate different applications, cloud-based applications, um, whether it's a cloud-based CRM application, whether it's a uh, um, uh, a storage application, an order processing application, or whatever it is, it's very easy as long as they've got open APIs to actually integrate the two applications, uh, your phone system, your hosted phone system, and the other application, whether that's a CRM or, or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so it, it, it's created a, um, um, a, a very interesting time for us, and uh, it's enabled our partners to actually go to market with some pretty advanced applications. So the extended um, uh, developer group uh, consists of about 5,000 developers today, and it's it's uh, constantly growing. Um, Broadsoft, as a as a firm, um, does have customers that they service directly. Um, Cause some customers that they do business with are U.S. Department of Justice, um, Los Alamos uh, National Laboratory, State of Minnesota, Texas A&M, Verizon, University of Kentucky, the U.S. Uh, Postal Service. Um, so they're a very large company. They go after very large opportunities. Um, and a lot of companies that have um, a, a very high amount of number of employees, um, thousands, um, go to companies like Broadsoft and say, listen, can you help us roll out a phone system, a cloud-based phone system? Um, we've got, uh, you know, a million employees or 500,000 employees worldwide, and Broadsoft um, basically plays in that space. Um, in addition to that, Broadsoft offers their soft switch product to carriers um, like Blue IP. Um, <clears throat> if you look um, at, uh, at, at this map here, it, it really is um, – easier to identify the companies that don't use Broadsoft um, or the carriers that don't use Broadsoft as opposed to the ones that do because there are so many. Broadsoft probably has about an 85% of the market share um, of carriers um, worldwide. If you look just in the, in the United States, um, Verizon, AT&T, XO, uh, Charter Communications, Paytech, uh, CenturyLink, Telmex, start working your way across towards Europe, you've got Vodafone, you've got Telstra, you've got um, all these companies and all these carriers that actually use Broadsoft to offer hosted service, whether that's for the business, for the business community, for residential, 
Um, uh, essentially, what they're doing is they're using Broadstuff to come up with a cloud solutions or unified sol unified communication solution for their market, and they leverage Broadstuff because they are the strongest, they are the best, they've got the most uh, market share, they've got the most R and D spend, and um, they're just a really great company to to do business with. So they've got 500 plus customers throughout you know 68 countries. They are constantly growing. These these numbers are constantly moving because of the acquisitions that they make. Um, it's a very exciting exciting company to be involved with. Um, in order for uh, a white label partner or a company that does business does business and goes to market with you know direct end customers to do business and go to market with a broad soft um, system, they have to partner um, with a service provider. And that's what Blue IP is. Blue IP is a Broadsoft service provider. We have invested in Broadworks, uh, in the Broadworks platform. Um, we have uh, purchased and deployed two uh, Broadworks uh, systems and deployed them in our in our carrier network. Um, you can do that, or you can go to Broadsoft and buy one. Um, essentially, you know, it's a. I think you need to actually give them ten million dollars before they even answer the phone, sort of thing. So, um, it's that is the way that you would want to do business and go to market with a hosted solution manufactured by Broadsoft, um, and it's it's to partner with somebody like a Blue IP, and that's what we do. So we we own the Broadworks system, um, <clears throat> and what we do is we have designed a white label partnership program and a company that is geared for uh, resellers, um, whether they're white label partners or some other, another name is value added reseller, um, or an agent. Um, and we've built our company based on that model. And what that means is that everything that we do at Blue IP is designed so that uh, a firm could take that product, that service, that application, and go to market with it tomorrow. Um, and so that's how we've actually built this company. Um, we're very successful. We're very good at it. Um, and as, I'm, as I go through the presentation, what I'd like for you to do um, is kind of see what we're doing, what the slides say, and envision your company uh, in place of the word Blue IP because that is what we're offering here, is the ability to go to market with all of our products and services, uh, and you're going to build a company or build a, um, a go-to-market strategy with, with that. So we are built for white label partners and agents. Um, we do operate our own carrier network nationwide. Um, <clears throat> we've got over 20,000 businesses that depend on us today. Um, we've got uh, thousands of companies that you've never even heard of, real small companies that have 10 phones, that have got five phones. Um, and we have um, we have other companies that that have 1,600 phones. Um, we have companies that are mission critical deployments that are um, uh, peace apps. We've got answering services. We've got hospitals. We have universities. We have every and everything in between. So we're um, <clears throat> the spectrum of businesses. It, uh, the the Broadworks platform is designed for a horizontal market. There are some verticals that Blue IP goes after and that um, that Broadsoft does gear their solution for. But for the most part, the product is a horizontal product for a horizontal market. Um, some of our white label partners that go to market with Blue IP um, are Verizon, uh, Merit Communications, Stuart Title, um, On Point Technologies, um, just as to name a few. Blue IP has offices in Las Vegas, Nevada, in Los Angeles, in Longmont, Colorado. Um, so we do provide service and we do support uh, uh, resellers and white label partners nationwide. Um, we have employees and uh, channel account reps uh, nationwide as well as sales engineers and other, um, other staff. Um, <clears throat> we do uh, support a full suite of telecommunication services. Blue IP is uh, primarily owned by a company called OnPoint Technologies. Um, OnPoint Technologies is a $500 million hardware and software firm. They do business um, with a lot of very large companies. Um, their sweet spot for end customers is, uh, is 1,000 seats and higher, um, primarily municipalities, uh, federal government, um, uh, financial institutions and universities as well. Uh, they are one of 
about four or five Microsoft large application resellers uh, for Microsoft. Um, so they're a large company. Um, <clears throat> And uh, Blue IP is the fastest growing broadsoft service provider in the United States. In order to go to market with uh, a hosted product, you have to, and, and if you're going to put your name on it and rebrand it, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the product and service that you're going to market with and the company that you choose or the service provider that you choose is a strong service provider for two reasons. Number one, when you make a sale, you want it to stick, you want happy customers, and you want to be able to reproduce that. Um, that's what we enable you to do here at Blue IP. We've invested millions and millions of dollars in our Broadworks um, uh, deployment. Um, what we have is we've got a, a data center presence in the Equinix data center in downtown Los Angeles. Um, Equinix is a very highly secure data center. Um, all of the major carriers terminate to that um, to that data center. Um, we have our, our cluster of Broadworks servers um, within that data center um, in Los Angeles. In addition to that, <clears throat> so this is what you see here in LA. Um, in addition to that, we have redundant session border controllers. Your session border controller is essentially what uh, are the devices that actually transmit RTP traffic or the voice traffic. Um, the phones all register to our session border controllers. Um, edge routers that may be terminating SIP trunking into an IP PBX at a customer's site um, will register with our session border controllers. Um, again, we have two. These are Acme session border controllers. Acme is um, owned uh, by Oracle. We have Cisco firewalls um, here in Los Angeles. You see Cisco Firewall 1 and Firewall 2. And then we also have Core Routers 1 and Core Routers 2 here in the Equinix Data Center in Los Angeles. Um, our Core Routers maintain um, BGP ra uh, routing tables um, for our underlying carriers. Um, what that essentially means is that Within Los Angeles, we have direct connections with companies like Zayo, CenturyLink, Cogent, and Level 3. Um, we maintain BGP tables for those uh, underlying carriers, and essentially those BGP tables are continuously updated so that we can provide the shortest path first to an edge customer to your customer. This enables us to provide good quality of service um, to your customers. Um, we also provide broadband. Um, through our white level partner community um, so that we can enable you to provide good quality of service and control packets from uh, the edge customer site to the to our core network or to your core network um, <clears throat> so this is is what we look like in the Equinix data center in Los Angeles um, what's more is we have a geo redundant location in Chicago um, so this is the Equinix data center in Chicago again you have your cluster of Broadwork servers session border to controller 1 and session border controller 2 firewall 1 firewall 2 and core router 1 and core router 2 we've got disparate gigabit um, private fiber connections um, through level 3 and um, and 360 um, connecting LA and Chicago together and then we also have gigabit connections um, with our on net partners um, again we have several of them just to name a few CenturyLink, Zayo, Level 3, Cogent um, out here on the west coast um, we also have a direct connection with Charter Communications as well, um, and we're working on a, a direct connection with Verizon as well. Um, Verizon is doing a lot of business with us, so um, it's uh, it, most of our direct connections are are business driven. So we're looking at uh, at establishing a direct connection as well. What's different between Blue IP's network and a lot of our competitors is that um, uh, there are a lot of providers, um, hosted solution providers out there that essentially design their own soft switch, come up with their own product um, uh, products and services, get a, a, a large uh, internet connection to level three um, or another underlying carrier, and now they open for business and they start offering commissions and agent programs and, and everything is very sloppy and very choppy and quality of service is terrible. Um, so that's not what we do. What we do is we offer a very strong carrier-based soft switch uh, product um, designed for white label partners to so take our products and services and go to market. Um, and um, it's very reliable. 
very robust. Um, it is definitely not the cheapest on the market, um, but we are very competitive, um, and we provide good quality of service and something that you could rebrand and not be um, and not be worried about putting your name on. Um, <clears throat> so that's essentially what we do, and that's what you should look look for with a um, when you're looking for a hosted product to actually go to market with. You want something that you can build reoccurring revenue and that you can build um, build a business on uh, and maintain moving forward. Um, so we are a service provider. We do have nationwide reach um, throughout the U.S. We can get numbers abroad as well. Um, we do business out in Europe. We do business um, out in Australia as well. So we we um, we have a, a, an international reach. Um, most of our business is done in the states. Um, <clears throat> so. And we offer a full breadth of, uh, of uh, telecom services, so operator and directory assistance, white page listings, uh, emergency 911, fraud detection, carrier-based network assessment tools. Um, if you've been in the telecom market at all, uh, you know that um, there is fraud out in the market. Um, phone systems get hacked. International um, calls uh, get generated, and and uh, you experience them. Uh, a lot of times, customers could could rack up thousands and thousands of dollars in international charges um, before they even come into work in the morning. We have tools within our core network. Again, we are a carrier, so we have these tools that will identify um, irregular patterns of international calling and will shut it down. Um, so we could help you provide a good service and provide fraud detection for your customers. Uh, in addition to that, your engineers will have the ability to leverage the tools, the carrier-based network tools that we have in our core network. So these are multi-million dollar tools and applications that you could use to support your customers. For example, we have a Palladium uh, network assessment tool that we will provide uh, access to um, <clears throat> that we'll provide access to uh, for your engineers. So in the event one of your customers call uh, and they talk to one of your engineers because they're having bad quality of service or they had a drop, dropped call, your engineer will be able to log into the Palladium tool in our core network, see that call real time, and see exactly what's happening. Is there an issue with a, a router at an underlying carrier? Is there an issue with the packets actually coming out of the customer site? Is there an issue, you know, what is going on? Where is the jitter being introduced at? So your engineers will be able to go in, use these tools, identify the issues, and troubleshoot and resolve the issue uh, quickly. So, um, and we are able to segment that information uh, so that you could only see your customers' uh, voice traffic. So we do provide all this stuff. Uh, all of our E911 is provided by our uh, by Entrado, um, that handles all of our E911. So again, these are we are a full-blown carrier. So everything that we do is is carrier-based and um, and designed to support uh, millions and millions of subscribers. When you're looking for a hosted PBX uh, provider, um, you want to make sure that you've got a, a good, strong product suite. So Blue IP offers um, hosted PBX, SIP trunking, conference bridge, call center. <clears throat> we do a lot of call centers, um, as well as call recording, faxing, and we also provide uh, broadband services as well. So if you have a, con a customer that's looking for MPLS, a customer that's looking for a cable modem or what have you, um, we will provide wholesale pricing to you to, uh, so that you can mark up and provide to your customer. That way you would be providing a full suite, um, a full product offering that consists of broadband, phones, um, hosted seats, call center, call recording, and whatever the customer is actually looking for. <clears throat> In order to go to market, you also need the ability to um, outfit your sales reps. So you have customers that are coming to you asking you for a, a solution. Maybe you might get a call or a lead. Um, you want to make sure that your sales reps or that you are ready to go and, and offer up the solution. I've been in sales for a very long time. I've been in front of customers um, 
uh, a lot um, in the many years that I've been doing this, and I know what you need. You need to go out there. You need to look professional. You need to make sure that you've got good quality product slicks. You need a, a folder. You need to be able to generate a quote. You need to be able to do a needs analysis, and you need to be able to make the end customer feel comfortable that they're choosing the right um, the right provider. So. We have designed all of our own marketing slicks for every single product that we offer up to our white label partners and agents. Um, everything that we have designed is rebrandable. So on these slicks here that you see, you see the logo Blue IP. Um, what we do with our white label partners is we partner you with our marketing department. We get a, a high res image of your logo. We replace uh, everything that says Blue IP on that slick with your company name, your company logo. All the sales contact information is changed um, uh, to represent your company, and um, we rebrand them for you, and off you go. Um, we've even gone as far as changing the color palette on the slicks as well, um, so that uh, it would match the the color scheme that you uh, that you're going to market with. Um, we provide product demonstrations um, for our resellers. Um, we often represent ourselves as sales engineers or sales reps for our white label partners um, uh, until they get up to speed and are able to actually do the demonstrations on their own. Um, we do demonstrations of um, advanced applications like uh, integrations with Google Apps, integrations with Microsoft Link, call center deployments. Um, receptionist consoles, you name it. Um, uh, we, we do product demonstrations uh, for our white-level partners for, for pretty much every product that we have out there. Um, we provide quoting tools, so it's easy for our white-level partners to generate a quote and send it out to a customer and get a signature. Um, and then we also have a group of sales engineers and other support staff to support your company in getting up to speed and going to market with our solution. And um, and experiencing some some success and capturing business. <clears throat> Once you choose a a good product and a good carrier that offers a good strong uh, product offering that that owns their own network that is able to provide a good service, a good hosted PBX service that you could put your name on, you feel comfortable putting your name on. Um, you have the sales material, sales collateral, the sales support. Once you've identified all that, then once you start closing business. Now you have to process the business. You need to place orders. You need to add additional orders. You need to um, take seats away. You need to um, configure the, the LMP of their numbers. You need to order toll-free numbers. Um, you need to bill the, the customers, so on and so forth. So all of that, the business process side of it, um, we have designed that as well. And we've done a very good job in doing that. Um, we have automated pretty much everything that we could automate from an order processing and billing standpoint. Um, the way we actually built Blue IP is we've actually designed Blue IP so that everything Blue IP will flow through your company very fluidly. So. <clears throat> Um, what will happen is you would actually go in, let's say that you, uh, one of your sales reps closes a deal um, on a Friday. Um, what would actually happen is you could actually go in, place the order in the Orion portal. Um, the order would get placed. As soon as you actually submit the order, what will happen is automatically that, um, that customer and that enterprise will be automatically built in the Broad, Broadsoft platform and then your engineer will receive an email with login credentials to log in and start configuring the actual phone system. You could actually order uh, phones from the distributor pre-configured that will be registered with our session border controller so that when you receive them at the customer site, all you have to do is plug them in, they'll register uh, with Blue IP, then you train, and then you move on to the next one. So it's a very fluid sale, it's a very fluid cutover. Um, and the billing and order processing is also very fluid as well. Um, <clears throat> so we and and it's it's done that way on purpose. So if you've actually done business with a hosted PBX provider or you've resold as an agent, um, it, it'll be night and day. Um, a lot of times you can tell that a lot of companies are in the the early stages or they don't, they don't have the white label partnership program well thought out properly, and we see that a lot. And we end up getting a lot of customers that have a good book of business um, with a, you know, Pantera or whoever that are interested in moving all that business over to us to make um, to make the process uh, smoother. 
and essentially and ultimately making more money on that book of business. So the idea that um, the idea here is that you choose some uh, a provider um, that's got a good product suite. Everything is 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 in place, um, and then you just start doing business. Basically, um, you're looking for something that's got high margins. Um, essentially, Blue IP. You can um, we have partners that are making up to 45 points of margin. Everything Blue IP. Um, we have two different programs. We have a white label partnership program, and then we also have an agent program as well. Um, the major difference is in a white label partnership agreement, um, you're going to market with, with the products and services under your brand. You're making more margin. You are the first line of defense for the customer. Blue IP bills you as a white label provider, and you bill your customer. Um, the agent program essentially what's happening there is that you're going identifying the customer and throwing them over the fence to Blue IP and then we pay a commission at the end of the month. Um, so it really does kind of depend on, on how focused you want to be on hosted PBX uh, products and, and services um, and uh, or if you want to kind of baby step your way into into this space. Um, <clears throat> But essentially, once you start going, you've got a high margin product, you've got pre-configured phones, automated cutovers, monthly reoccurring customers, and then the Cloud PBX or the Broadworks platform is maintained by us. We actually maintain it. We're doing all the upgrades. We do the maintenance on it. All you do is you provide first line of defense um, for anything that the customer calls about, basically. We have 24 by 7 uh, tech support. Um, and uh, so we'll provide you all the support that you need um, before the sale, after the sale, pre-engineering, so on and so forth. We even do professional services uh, for a lot of call centers that you could pass right through uh, to your end customer um, or take it on yourself um, from a development side or just a customization side and maintenance side, completely up to you. So we're pretty flexible on those relationships, um, but we pretty much have a skew for um, development, professional services, soup to nuts, what you need to go to market. <clears throat> Beyond that, um, so you have your basic uh, product and service, uh, hosted PBX product and service. Um, beyond that, we do a lot of customization. Um, again, um, the, the Broadsoft platform lends itself to customization with their extended platform. Um, what that means is companies like Google, Microsoft, Salesforce, uh, NetSuite, you name it, are very, very interested in working with Broadsoft and doing integrations with Broadsoft because they know that if they integrate with Broadsoft for every service provider, they're capturing millions and millions of subscribers. So they're very interested in working in the carrier space and therefore we are seeing a lot of applications um, being released to the market. Um, Blue IP does a lot of development as well. We have developed applications like Chrome extension dialers, um, the ability to sign in and sign out of call centers. Um, uh, we also do um, integration with Microsoft Link, so we are able to expand Microsoft Link, so we ex are able to extend Microsoft Link out to the PSTN, so you don't uh, you're not only limited to a link-to-link -link call, you can actually make outbound calls, click-to-dial calls um, out to the PSTN using the Blue IP network. Um, <clears throat> you, uh, we also have other add-on applications as well. Primarily what we are, we're leading with is we do try to focus on the major providers um, and software providers like Google and Microsoft, but um, with Chrome extensions, we're also able to actually roll out um, applications that are integrated that open up click to dial capabilities for anything that you're using a Chrome extension or a Chrome browser to browse to, which would essentially open up click to dial capabilities out of any website that you hit or any CRM application that is web based. And pretty much everything is moving to web apps these days, if you haven't already noticed that. So, <clears throat> The moment, that is pretty much it. Um, essentially what you have is you have a very strong service provider in Blue IP. You've got um, the Cadillac of soft switch manufacturers in Broadsoft. And um, like I said, we at Blue IP, we are 100% focused on uh, going to market um, and identifying good, strong white label partners that are interested in offering a cloud-based voice solution uh, to their customers and um, we're able to get partners up to speed very quickly 
Um, we offer a series of trainings, both technical, order processing, sales training, um, and it's always ongoing as well. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and open it up for any questions that anybody might have. Um, you can go ahead and feel free to, uh, to ask them. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the line.